Hello everyone, my name is Master Rolfus and welcome to Call of Warhammer 1.6 where we will be playing as the Tomb Kings in our mighty Let's Play to conquer the Warhammer universe or the Warhammer Fantasy universe. So when we last left off, we conquered Gorgoth's Tower from the uh, dreaded Chaos Dwarves and now we're probably going to move on, muck up the Skaven and the Chaos Dwarves a little bit then afterwards probably just uh, chill out, I guess, relax and enjoy our spoils, maybe even push on to the Orcs and then possibly even the uh, Dwarven Karak. That's about it. Uh, can we move out actually right now? We could. In fact, we probably should. So my plan is to probably take out all these guys. Get them out of Gorgoth's tower. And right now we obviously have some buildings that we want to uh, that we want to build up, but. Everything else is kind of like automated right now. We do have to finish off the Chaos Storms, and we probably will do that right about now. By finishing off the Chaos Storms, we might be able to finally secure our borders once and for all. Afterwards, we'll go on to Skaven. And it should be fun, actually. It should be a lot of fun. Oh, it's been a while since I've played. I love my uh, spooky Egyptian zombie race i really do in the background you'll be hearing the music to uh medieval 2 uh total war i believe yeah I gotta say we have so many tomb guards it's kind of wonderful actually i think i might have to lower the music actually but this is fine my music my volume's already uh high enough as it is right now Alright, let's get the archers set up, and then afterwards we will get out the very weak infantry in the front. So, that being said, now comes time for the most important... What the fuck? What are you doing here? Now comes time for the setting up of some cav uh, cavalry. And we also have our bone giants over here that will kind of chill out for now. And that's about it. Now, let's see what they have access to. They do have access to the Hell Cannon of Chaos. They also have access to Death Rockets, Earthshaker Cannon, Rocket Arty. They just have a lot of shit, actually, now that I think about it. Does everybody move forward? Reason why is because if these guys are able to set up, they're probably going to destroy our Lich Priest before he can even fire off a volley. You see? Like that. So we want to attack now before uh, the Lich Priest get a little bit spooked. By the way, did you see how much damage that thing did? Kind of like just tore a hole through our Tomb Guard lines. All right, everybody, I'm gonna have to pause really quick because this is very important. Got charged in right now. Some giants are moving in right now. There, hobgoblins, you move over there. Okay, Lich Priests are going insane right now. Come on, come on, come on. Disable, in the, disable them before they do any damage. You guys can stop with that. And we're fire at will mode for you. And we've completely routed the army. Had we um, fired them from afar and stuff, I feel like we would have lost.
And we're actually taking some damage. Kind of surprising. Come on, get rid of those wolf rider archers. Yeah, that sneaky get is dead. General obviously fell in battle, which means that's the end of that army. Alright, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. God, I love playing as the Tomb Kings. That guy fucked off to a new dimension. 151 units died. Not bad. Not bad at all, really. I'll say this, it could be a lot worse. So much worse. Ooh, we can ransom them off for a lot of money. Uh, yes. <laughs> and they reject it. They obviously don't have the money for that, so... I suppose that makes sense. Uh, let's get a watchtower here. And maybe we'll just move around. Right now we see everything in Gorgoth's tower territory, and... We see everything in the Skaven lair, so what I want to do right now is move back to Nameless City, get my stuff retrained, and then afterwards move on to the Skaven Lair. Grimgore is being a little bit of a shithead, but that's the usual. I live to obey. can maybe kill this guy? Ooh, success, nice. That's the first success I've ever gotten in my entire life. In, uh... Total War Assassinations, that is. Okay, we have the Grand County of Averland. Thanks. Why are you trying to kill me, though? Ooh. Goodbye, my friends. Hello, my friends. We exchange new friends for old friends. Just all around good stuff. They got the two more armies. Oh, 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 they split off. They split off. It's about to go insane. I was like, wait a minute. Are they just like spamming like tons of armies now? They're gonna come in like a plague. This is gonna be a problem, actually. Hmm. What do I want to do? Do I want to attack them now? Because right now it seems like they're kind of a little bit scary. They besiege Mount Silver Spear, and especially if they besiege Gorgoth's Tower, I'd be really screwed right now. God, I don't know. Hmm. Tricky. Very tricky. Yes. I mean, leaving Mount Silver Spear isn't a bad thing. Our enemies will suffer. Yeah, let me just move this guy back. Uh, we can fight these guys on the open field. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take my really, really. Why am I? Why am I retraining the catapults again? I completely forgot. 
Here, what are my very uh, weak units? We got like two here, so we'll move these guys back. And yeah, we'll do we'll do that. No point we're training the catapults yet. Literally no point. All right, so what can we do? Take these guys. Move them in. All right, now fight these guys in the open field of battle. Ooh, wow, they actually have better quality troops or something. Well, they do have Red Ogres of Clan Mulder, Plague Infected Clan Rats, and then they have these Poison Wind Globadiers and stuff. But they don't have any mages. They just have Skaven Jazalis as a high-tier range unit. And these guys, I don't think, have a lot of range. Yeah, they, they throw their... Uh, their bombs. Unless they have, like, you know, a godlike quarterback uh, toss, but I'm not sure if they have that. In fact, I don't think it's possible for Skaven to beat like that. Except maybe if you roll, like, really well, well in Blood Bowl 2. We don't talk about that game. Alright. You guys are ready? Good. Da -da 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 -da. Bam. What does I want to do? Oh, there we go. You know, I said that it was loud before, but it's not really that loud, so I'm gonna keep it at that volume. I mean, at this volume. Okay, obviously we're gonna put the very weak infantry in the back of the back of the school bus. Are you gonna fire at these guys? No, I think you're too up the hill to fire at them. Oh. Yeah, you're you're good. You're good. Okay, fire one ready. Yikes. Ugh. Look at that. Look at that destruction. Skaven clan rats were brought down from uh, like 250, I think, to like 159? Maybe it was a 250. I'm just very glad that right now we're just like destroying these guys. Obviously, sound effects for these, for this, um, Race is pretty loud, so it's all good. And when action actually happens, you guys can hear it. Even though all it sounds like are just like broken pots and pans that you find from Wind Waker. Where's the Giselles? Huh? Can I fire at those Giselles? Skeletons. Oh, put this on like plus two. It's bad. We're gonna keep the bone giants at the back because don't want to lose anything. I don't fire will be taken off. And time now to charge in these guys. Whoa! What the hell is that? What are we getting hit by? What is this black ash shit? Oh no.
Damn, Daniel, he took out so many of my units. Charge in and finish them off, really. That's what we can do right now. Bone Giants, get, 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 kick the crap out of these rat ogres. Oh, this black shit is actually messing up my computer's frames quite a bit. Doesn't matter. Kill the rat ogres from far away now. Finish off that general. Kill the rat ogres. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, what the fuck? Why are you over there? Well, you are gold Chevron rank now, so I suppose you're worth to uh, worth keeping. Any enemy units we have to kill? No, really. Besides the rat ogres, nothing really in particular. Seven of those guys to help out right now. Alright, send uh kill the Gisellis. Where is the general? There we go. We got him. What to say, like maybe I was <laughs> that guy isn't the general because he just won't die. But no, no, he's the general. He's dead. He's dead. Rat ogres, however, are not dying, which is incredible. So who's in this fight, actually? Nobody important, really. Alright, we're gonna get our priest right now to kill these guys. Ah, they won't kill them. So we just have to tire them out, I suppose. So this kind of sucks. We can't really finish off the rat ogres with my priests. I don't want to really whittle them down. Just want the priest to kill them so that we can get an easy victory. Ah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Actually, continue it. We need to finish off this guy. There we go. Now, who killed the most people? Lich Priest, obviously. Followed by what looks like to, to be Tomb King Skeleton Warriors. Really not a hard battle. In fact, quite a good battle, actually. Quite.
Hmm. Let's see if they'll accept the ransom. They never do accept the ransom. Never do. A crushing victory, my a feels bad moment if I've ever seen one. Alright, we'll maintain the siege and then maybe destroy these guys. Who have a full army now. So I'm going to have to try and figure out a way to break this army. We'll do it. We'll do it. In any case, I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye-bye.